everybody. My name is Naya and I'm the Black Female Engineer. I provide content for new and aspiring software engineers and today we're going to talk about why I left finance and ended up in software engineering. And so we're going to go a few years back. Starting in fall of 2016, I was set to start my first year in college. I ended up being a finance major, but before that, I had to make a choice of what degree I wanted to pursue. And I had put business as my first choice for the school that I wanted to attend, you know, the college when, you know, the whole establishment is the university. There's the different colleges, College of Arts, College of Music, etc. So I wanted to be in the College of Business. But that process of figuring out if I was accepted into that specific track and all was going to take some time. My business school was very competitive and so it would take a hot minute to find out. Even if I was accepted to the school, it was going to take a hot minute. And so in the meantime, I had to enroll as some type of student because I was still accepted and I had still signed on to be a student of this university. So I had to pick a subject, a course. And with me, with the way I wanted my college experience to go, I wanted to pick a track that would afford me a job right after college, a job that would pay a solid amount and where I wouldn't have to stress too much about money. Now, that being said, if you're an underwater basket weaving major, don't come at me. There's nothing wrong with that. I love that. If that's what you want to do, I love that. But for me, I went the more practical route. I think it has something to do with being Zimbabwean, being <laughs> the child of Zimbabwean parents. I just wanted to go that more practical route. And for me, that left me with engineering or business. Those were the two options. Now I had already chosen this, but I didn't know if they had chosen me yet. And so I signed on to attend my university under the computer science route. I had signed on. Now before classes could even start, I received notice that I got accepted into this one over here, into the business school. And so that's where I ended up. That's where I wanted to go. I wanted to be in business. And so I was enthused and happy and all of that. And so yes, packed my bags, went to school. Now it's interesting looking back, there were very clear signs that I should have gone either the computer science or just the engineering minded route. Sign number one. One of my favorite classes, specifically my favorite class during freshman year of college, was this class called Mathematical Analysis in Business. That's, yeah, I think that's what it was called. Math 11, 12, Math, Mathematical Analysis in Business. And I loved this course. This course was made for me. I would take it again because it was a course purely based off of Excel, Excel analysis, and using data points and inputs for business analysis. Now, Excel, people who really know it proficiently and can really code out these crazy spreadsheets, it's a type of coding. The things you can do, it can end up being a type of coding. And at the time I had no idea that that's what I was doing, but I was the person other people would go to for four exams to make sure that their spreadsheets were up and running, up and good. Because my spreadsheets, y'all, I, I wish I still had those. My spreadsheets, the teacher can be like, oh, so Billy Bob went to the market and got eight eggs and then this and then this, and then the stock market went like this, da, da, da. And all I would need to do is input like one of those numbers and then boom, there would the entire array of answers be right before me. I was that committed to Excel spreadsheets. And I loved it so much, that critical thinking, that problem solving, and just the act of creating these calculations that would produce these answers. I loved that so much. That should have been hit number one, y'all. It wasn't. It wasn't. To me, I think it was just a further hint that I was in the right place. Does that make sense? So instead of it being the hint that I was in the wrong place, it was a hint that I was in the right place because being a freshman, you don't know what's going on in these different majors. You don't know what you'd be doing and 
as a job and all of that. And so I was like, oh, this is a class four business. I love this class so much. I must be right where I'm supposed to be. But then moving on to work experience, I ended up interning after my freshman year of college at Elish Garden Six Flags, and I was a finance intern for them. Now, I was very enthused to get this internship, but did I decide that I wanted to go back? No. No, I did not. And this was the theme for everything I did, y'all. Like, this, again, should have been another hint, hint number two, that was in the wrong place. I kept on, no matter how great the company was, no matter how esteemed they were, I kept on rejecting the offer to go back. So my first job, decided not to go back. Then after sophomore year, I interned at a big four accounting firm. Did I go back? No. I was like, nope, I'm good. This is not for me. After junior year, interned at Bank of America Merrill Lynch. And this is a top five bank. I worked in derivatives. I loved my team. When it came to accept the offer to join them after I graduated full time, did I accept it? No. I just kept on turning things down because I was like, oh, I guess maybe this specific route isn't it. Or I guess this specific route isn't it. Not that business wasn't it. That thought did ne just never crossed my mind as a student because what were my options i i am going to make this bread make this coin i need to get through this i'm not going to be switching majors i'm not going to be delaying my graduation that was just not an option for me you know in my thinking i was like no that's that's not an option for me that's not the way to go i was spearheading down this road but yeah I just was like, nope, after trying certain things, after applying certain places, after interning, I'd be like, no, 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 no. So I mentioned Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. So let's get back to that. I interned for Bank of America, Merrill Lynch summer of 2019. So this was the summer after my junior year. And after this, I would just have one more year of college before I called it wraps. So summer of 2019 i jet set to new york city manhattan and i was working for the derivatives team at bank of america not gonna lie to y'all i did not like my job again i loved my team i loved this company my day to day i did not like it now hold up before any of y'all go into the comments like oh well you're just an intern like of course you get you know quote unquote front work no it wasn't even that i didn't like my job I didn't like the job my co-workers were doing I I just didn't like I didn't resonate with it I just thinking to myself like wow this is what I'd be doing it just didn't mix them all with me until until the day that pretty much changed everything my manager one day came to me and was like hey girl hey girl hey young blood um we would need these journal entries put in, updated, and all of that. They're for the month. Update our books, put them in, and call it a day. I was like, bet, say no more. And so I look at this project. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, nah. So here's the thing. It, it was not a hard project. I think the... The fact that it wasn't a hard project is, I think, what deterred me so much. And let me explain why. It was not a hard project. What truly, truly what it was, was copying and pasting about 300 times. That truly was what it was from one spreadsheet to another 300 times from, you know, the information they need to the journal entry information they need, put it together, boom, here. It was going to take me at least half the day all day because of just the sheer volume of everything. So that's when I was like, no, I'm not, <laughs> no, I'm not doing this. Like I would go insane. I am not doing this. And so it was in that moment, I was like, there has to be a better way. What, what commercial is that? I can't, if someone please comment below, please, I beg you comment below. What commercial is that? Where it's like, there has to be a better way. And I started looking up ways to automate things like this, how to just 
make it easier, make the machine work for me and me not having to, like maybe some more legwork would have to be done in the beginning. But the fact that this company's doing this every month, I was like, they will use this after I'm gone. So what, what needs to be done here to make that happen? And so I spent like the whole half day from morning to mid afternoon that day, looking up and practicing and finding ways to automate this process. And by the end of that workday, I had found a way to do that. And I remember reaching out to my manager. I was like, yo, come, come, over, come, come over here. And I just sit back and I press a button, just boop. And everything got populated and he was so impressed he even brought over a different employee and was like yo come over here look what Naya just did and I did it I, I sat back and I said boop everything was populated so I was so happy they were so happy I was so happy to this day oh actually not to this day anymore because now I'm working so up till about three months ago this had been the happiest I, I kid you not this had been the happiest I had ever been at work I truly cannot think of another time I had ever felt this fulfilled this happy this eager I I was walking I remember calling I remember going to the bathroom and calling my mom immediately just so happy because I had never felt like this I had never like I was gonna make me emotional because I had never felt like this ever y'all and to finally have had a day where I felt like I had made a difference felt like I had contributed in a way that mattered and in a way that made me happy because it tapped into my problem solving skills tapped into my curiosity and allowed me to learn and grow that was it for me y'all that was it for me now that being said <laughs> y'all are gonna think I'm crazy for this <laughs> For what I'm about to say, I still, y'all, I was, like I said, I was on a very narrow road. Everything else was black other than that path to get that degree. I still didn't get that sign or take that as a sign of, girl, you need to move fields. You, this, this finance is not for you. You need to move fields immediately. I still didn't realize it. I st it still didn't click that coding and developing and programming was what I was supposed to be doing or what I was supposed to be at least pursuing. And it's really wild thinking back because I remember other coworkers talking to me, talking about Python programming and how that helps with finance and fintech. And I truly was so removed from that conversation. I didn't even think about it in a thing of me. The only explanation I have for it, and I hate to say it, but it has to be said or else there will be no change, is that I just never thought that I'm that person, that that is a career that I was able, I would be able to pursue. I just, certain things you put in your head as okay, well, Billy Bob does this and the Jerry's of the world do this and the Amber's of the world do this. Like certain things, I think that's just how I think certain things I had just put in certain realms and certain compartments. And that was also software engineering for me. It took such a long time for me. It's almost embarrassing to admit, but for me to even realize software engineering was even a career path because growing up, I wasn't surrounded by that. So it took a very long time for me to even break open that option of no, Naya, you too can be this person. But anyway, even then when I automated this process, it still did not click to me that yo, girl, you should be trying to get into coding. So it actually took about a year after that 
for me to see, oh my gosh, I love this. And it was when this parent teacher conference hit and now I had so much time on my hands because all of my classes went past fail. And I was just, I, it's funny because I can actually envision myself literally in my bed, just, <laughs> just letting the hours go by. And so one day I was like, Naya, girl, you have been given the gift of time. Use it, use it. And so I remembered I had like been interested in programming or not. And it's funny to even say that because not interested in programming in the sense of, oh, I really liked Math 11, 12. I really liked automating this process for Bank of America. Let me try coding. It wasn't even like that. It was just a thing where, you know, things pop up that everyone says to try or everyone says to pursue. That's really where that came from. And coding is one of those things. And so I was like, okay, everyone says to do this thing. Let me try it. So I tried it and literally within hours, hours i was hooked i remember that first week staying up till four in the morning just trying to complete coding projects and building static sites and all of these things because i just couldn't put it down it had never felt like that in finance <laughs> i've never been like oh i just can't put down these journal entries let me just stay up for one more hour because i just love this so much now if you do no shade no shade i'm just saying that was not me and so that is when truly within just a few days when I was like yeah I, I need to move I need to make a switch I need I need to make this happen and I was just a few months away from my graduation which was in May of 2020 I was just a few months away from that so I couldn't just switch majors and so I looked at all the different things I could do ending up with a coding boot camp now, in terms of the story here, I have so many videos as to coding boot camps and even what I did during coding boot camp along with after coding boot camp to get a job. So I'm not going to go too deep into that because I just don't want to repeat myself, but I'll link those videos below and some will appear up here. But yeah, I decided to go to a coding boot camp and come the point where I was supposed to start looking for jobs, I actually reached out to my manager at Bank of America from the previous year. It was like, hey, I'm pursuing this new route. I would love to hear what your thoughts are in terms of job opportunities. I loved Bank of America, even though I didn't like this specific realm of it. Is there any track that you can recommend for me? Is there any other program you guys have X, Y, and Z? And he really tried his best, but unfortunately all the programs they had for new graduates and new students or, or just young people in general, you needed a computer science degree. And this is really where I first started panicking, thinking, oh my gosh, am I going to get a job? I don't have a computer science degree. I have a finance degree, but I don't have a computer science one. Am I not going to get a job because of it? And so that's really where I started to panic because of that. Now, I want to say you don't need a computer science degree to do this work. Some companies or some programs, they do require it, but you will find many, many that don't. But yeah, ended up moving on from that. And now I work in commerce cloud development. So I'm very happy with how all of this turned out. I wanted to provide you this story to really give you more of a complete look into my journey. Those of you who have followed me since the very early days, first of all, I see you. Thank you so much. But you may have heard snippets of this scattered through different videos. But yeah, I just wanted to provide a space where it was everything just put at once. But now we're on the same page of my journey and I'm so excited to just produce more content for you all in terms of transitioning and being a new developer, being in this field and yeah so please let me know in the comments ways i can help you out please and follow me on instagram at the black female engineer i love answering your questions i love just talking to you to be completely honest and so no reach out here on instagram etc but i hope you enjoyed this if you did please subscribe hit that like button and i'll see y'all later bye